I know female acquaintances my age that have slept with 60, 70, 80 men, Bro. five men a year since the age mm -hmm. of 60. Welcome to the J and O show. Where we talk about things that we were never told them, J. And I'm O. And now you know. If you guys are new to our channel, please make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> make sure you turn on those post notifications so you can know when we upload because you never want to miss an episode. Also, if you guys are new here and you have ideas for show topics, go ahead and drop them down below in the comment section and write hashtag next show so that way we can easily filter through and give you more of what you want. All right, so today's episode, guys, is something that we've actually talked about exhaustedly on this channel yes and you know it's always interesting when we find other fellow youtubers that are you know hitting on the same points mm -hmm. you know just mm -hmm. solidify what we're talking about right, right, right. so today we're actually gonna be doing a reaction to the poor man's podcast and this video is entitled real women explain why men don't want marriage yes so I'm not gonna say too much. I don't know if you have anything to say. I just want to play the clip. So no, we just get right up on in it. Right up on in there. Go ahead and jump right into it. Yeah. Okay. Push me. Expect a commitment in order for men to do that. Men are gonna jump at the opportunity to do that without a commitment. At the end of the day, why would I give you all of my resources and all the resources that I may accumulate throughout my entire lifetime if you're gonna give me what I want out of the deal without me having to make that commitment? Mm. And that's why the patriarchal quote unquote structure of marriage is very important and very beneficial to women and especially women and children. Because it certainly doesn't benefit men. I don't know if you guys caught that. I don't remember if it was in the last video that we was talking about the uh -uh. whole, uh, I don't know. We've done several episodes. Go back and look through. But I know we talked about like the Miss Independent movement mm -hmm. and, and uh, basically the whole feminist movement and all these movements, basically how it hasn't been helping but hindering us. I'm going to go ahead and push play and let them continue so you can see what I'm talking about. Man is asleep with him the same day she met him. <laughs> Women today True. want to be like men. They want to meet someone, impress them, sleep with them, and um, not experience any kind of consequences for it. And I yeah. see a lot of men actually in a movement today that don't even see what the value of a woman in it is anymore. And that's Bruh. really scary. They feel like if a woman acts just like a man, wants to compete with me like a man, but doesn't provide any feminine value or benefits, or isn't helpful at all, then what's really the point of a woman or a wife anymore? I, I saw I saw you had to, you wanted to. No, I... <laughs> you wanted to stop. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I got something for you, though. Look. Well, go ahead. <laughs> we have people... And, and, and here's the thing. We're going to talk from a guy's perspective. Okay. From a guy's perspective, which, which I love the fact that there are women saying these things. Mm-hmm. From a guy's perspective, we have people that we compete with. Right, right, right. We have people that we have that, that give us that type of masculine energy. They've been calling it masculine energy. Mm -hmm. But it's not just masculine energy, but we have people that we compete with on the job. We have com people, people that we compete with in sports. We have people that we compete with in all of these things. You know, that's a lot of that competition aggression that's testosterone driven behavior that's the reason why they call it masculine traits mm -hmm. that's testosterone mm -hmm. men naturally have testosterone that makes them aggressive and makes us competitive right right we don't find our boys attractive our dudes our friends my man you know or everybody that we hang with we don't find them attractive mm. So we already have that. So we don't need a woman to provide that to our life because we already have it. We want something completely different from y'all. Mm. So if you think that that's the energy that we generally tend to want, it's not. And there, the men that do accept it often, unfortunately, a lot of women don't really want. Mm. They call them simps now. That's what they call them now. And um, 
just I'm gonna just be honest with you like those are the dudes that a lot of women don't want it's very rarely that you see a couple where the guy is laid back like that mm -hmm. and the woman is aggressive like that and they're both doing this power couple the Jay-Z and Beyonce power couple thing that's not generally mm -hmm. how things work that's a that's an extreme rarity right usually that ends up being a Kanye and Kim situation mm divorce well, that 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 doesn't usually work out yeah. and then when it does divorce it's a whole bunch of mess which is what you're seeing with Kanye and Kim right now mm -hmm. is a bunch of mess so just you know I, I figured we need to talk about people being ready for marriage because a lot of people are getting married and not because we know we always talk about that <laughs> divorce rate <laughs> that's why we have a bad divorce rate because people ain't ready to get married because yeah. they don't have the the characteristics necessary nope they ain't yeah. having these conversations. No, nah, not at all. Okay. With marriage specifically and how that's become not as, um, you know, it's just a better deal for women than it is for men. And so much of that has to do, as you were explaining, that it's not as though men can um, um, be primarily responsible for providing for their family, although they're still expected to do that as much as Definitely they ever are. Pew Research but, Center did a study and they found that when that the majority of people still expect men to provide for families. Exactly. To, you know, right. And, and, and that's all fine, except when you're adding on to that. Oh, and by the way, when you come home, you're not going to have any moment to breathe and you can have no time for yourself. And there's no place where you can go as a man and be alone with men because those spaces are gone. Yada, yada, yada. So basically, you're a slave to your life. If all the women we're not whores ah! and willing to lay down or, and flirt with a married man or a man in a relationship and <laughs> you know this kind of stuff wouldn't happen men wouldn't be able to do this kind of stuff they wouldn't be able to cheat on you as often right they wouldn't be able to you know run off or, or sleep with a woman they just met if the woman wouldn't be willing to do it so instead of running around blaming men you know men are only going along with what women have allowed you know? okay so i got something to say about this so let's talk about girl power <laughs> bruh real talk so i got so much i want to say <laughs> boy if you don't uh, <laughs> it's yeah like to her point and like i've said before on this channel several times like as women we hold so much power and i think you said it before I know we've talked about it several times, but I'm pretty sure you said it on the show before that men hold the key to relationship, to relationship and women holds the key to sex. And this is, I'm sorry, rock with me, y'all. I'm going all over the place, but I, I promise <laughs> I have a point, okay? This is why certain individuals, like, for example, Kevin Samuels and MTR, I don't agree with them with the mentality we're well, not actually let me back up not so much mtr because i don't know if i've actually heard them say this but i know i've heard kevin say this when it comes to women and how they are playing games when it comes to them in the dating market we were actually recently just watching a video of his and he was like chewing this woman out <clears throat> because he said she was playing games because she was going on dates with guys that she wasn't necessarily physically attracted to, <clears throat> excuse me, and it, he took it a step further and was basically saying, and this is not the first time that he said it, that like, basically you should be giving it up on a first date. And I'm just like, pause. That doesn't make any sense. Because then you turn around and you say that men don't want women with a high body count. So which one is it? You want, you want the woman to sleep with a guy on a first date, but then you don't want to wife up that chick because you got a high body count. The two don't go together. That's number one. Number two, going back to my other point, what I started to say before, just follow me, y'all. As far as like, you know, and like this young lady just said in the video here, women are basically, they're prostituting themselves because of the the whole women's revolution, the 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 the, the um, sexual revolution. sexual re revolution and everything like that. Don't get me wrong. You know, I'm I'm happy that women, you know, we done found our our um our sexual beings and what you know makes us tick and everything like that that's cool but keep that for you and your mate you don't need to put it on display like you in um the window at um neiman marcus or whatever showing off all your goods you know what i'm saying it's just like there's no there's no type of suspense there's no type of 
what's the word on thrill or what have you because everything is just put front and center on display there's no mystery there's no there's nothing for the guy to anticipate because you give it to him all at once and like what the woman was saying like if we as women like we control sex right and men control relationship so we know that men want sex and we know that we want relationship so if we want relationship then we need to hold on to what we know that they want so that we get them to commit to us not about running games on people but you hold what is that and hold up I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. So, um, what has really happened with the value of women? Like, people call it old fashioned. Um, and I think this sister mentioned it in, uh, in the video at one point. Like, think about our grandparents, right? Think about your grandmother. I think that was gonna come later on. Oh, okay. Okay, maybe I'll push pause on that. But yeah, it's just like we're no seriously. Where have all where has all the values gone? Like, why do you think just because you're in touch with your your sexual side that you need to be like giving it up to everybody? No, great, you're in touch with your sexual side. Okay, keep that for you and your husband, or you and your long term boyfriend, whoever you're going to be in a relationship or whatever. Have fun exploring that together, you know, in a committed relationship. You don't just be trying it out on everybody that you come across. Bruh. The, there's have been a big mix where the women have stopped doing the things that were expected back in the day from the beginning and started doing the things that the women used to hold on right. in the beginning during the back in the day. Back in the day, women would do the feminine things. Like if we're in a relationship, we're dating, we're trying to see if it's gonna go somewhere, I'm gonna treat you with a lot of the feminine things. I might come to your house and see that it's dirty. I'm not talking about date two, <laughs> but we've been dating for a while. Mm -hmm. It's serious. Right. We're four months in and I'm, I'm coming by your house and I look and I say, it's a little dirty. I might go and clean it up. Right. Not go in, but I might straighten it up a little bit because it just, you know, as a dude, we don't necessarily keep our houses normally like the women do. I'm going to go clean up your house. If I take you over to see my parents, you finally coming to meet my parents. We've been dating for a few months. I'm going to bring you over to see my parents. When you get there, I'm going to fix your plate. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that the women used to give out in the beginning to be like, this is the type of wife that I am. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't necessarily be the sex. Right. Now, I'm not going to sit here and try to put a time on it. But that would be the thing that would be held until they knew the man had interest beyond just sleeping with them. Right. Now, the issue now, because I've, I've heard, I remember we were doing a reaction and Brittany Renner was doing this oh. interview. And the interviewer was like, oh, I'm happy you're not old fashioned thinking that you shouldn't just have sex on the first date. Are you um, into the idea that like you can't just f first and then start dating? Like, do you hold off if you want to be serious with someone mm -hmm. or do you just f you want to? I'm having sex. Oh, All right. Cool, 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 cool. I'm, I'm glad you're not like old school or anything. No. I feel like that that mentality is like, oh, if I just hold out, he'll really see my value. No, he won't. You guys have to understand like, bro. that men, men, it, it doesn't necessarily dictate whether or not a man is going to commit to you. Mm -hmm. Who you are dictates whether or not they're going to commit to you. Right. But if the man isn't going to commit to you, and you've already given him that, and you do that over and over and over again, you're gonna end up sitting there with some dude and, oh, I think I just said that, with some dude, with some dude, with some dude. <laughs> but you're gonna be sitting there with a whole bunch of guys that you've slept with who haven't committed to you because they weren't into you. Right. And I mean, I understand you wanna go off, you wanna just pop. I would prefer that you find a guy, some ex-boyfriend, that you knew y'all had great sexual chemistry and every time you had to go and get your emergency in a glass and you had to go break that glass just because you needed to i would rather it be a guy from your past that y'all know each other and that there's some level of trust at least than just some random new guy cole you stupid like y'all don't understand like how, like this we're, whole wanting to be like dudes thing is not working out for you. I was gonna it's say not. we're built different, okay? Mm. Men, it's a proven fact that they want it more than women do. Oh Lord, most of the time. By and large, yeah. okay? Yeah, most of the time, for sure. I have yet to meet a woman where the opposite is true. I'm pretty sure they're out there, mm. but I have yet it's, to meet one. There's few of y'all. Um, 
And it's a reason for that. It's because of their testosterone and they're just biologically, they're made different. So we can't do the same things that guys do, period. So because they can go out and sleep with a whole bunch of women on, you know, on the first date or what, ha what have you, it doesn't matter because guess what? Men, they don't care about whether or not they're in a relationship. We really don't, y'all. <laughs> because they're, you, they don't care that they're in a relationship as long as they're getting, they're they're getting the golden box. Yes, we getting <laughs> the know? benefits. Yeah, if they're getting the benefits, and you've heard this plenty of times before, why buy the cow if you can get the milk for free? Like that is a real, real, real like, thing. Like, why would you do that? Like that makes absolutely no sense. Anyway, let me be quiet. Yeah, and we, have, we have two more things. And I want you to think oh, about this. Do you think that when your great-grandmother okay. met your great-grandfather, the first day she met him, she slept with him? Probably not. Nope. Back then, women were ladylike. They wore dresses. They covered their bodies. They had a man court them. You know, then yeah. they, if they were going to be with that man, they typically wanted to be married to that man before they had their children or whatnot. Or if they had a child with that man, they got married afterwards. And women from those times, like your great grandmother, probably only have slept with one or two partners in their whole life. Right. I know female acquaintances my age that have slept with 60, 70, 80 men, Bruh. five many years since the age mm. of 16, 15. Mm. You know, that adds up, believe yeah. it or not. And they don't see nothing wrong with that. Bruh. <laughs> My gut reaction to what she said was, ew, ew. Guess what? Most dudes' gut reaction. Now, we're talking about most guys. Yeah. If you meet a dude out there and he got 100 bodies and you got 70 bodies, he probably ain't going to care. He also probably isn't trying to wife you up. Let's be clear. Our channel is for people who want to get married. <laughs> Not people who want to date. Right. Right. People who just are on the dating market because they just want to date. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about y'all. Y'all have a whole different set of rules that y'all can go to a channel, a dating coach channel where they're talking about how to get women or how to get guys, how to get what you want out of it. No, we're here for people who want to get married. Mm -hmm. If you want to get married, you better listen to what she just said. That was nothing but the truth. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Ultimately, feminism has made it much harder for women to have what they want most in life, which is a family, which is love, ultimately. And men are actually freed up to do whatever they want to Bingo. in life and not have to be attached to a woman or be obligated to marriage. Bingo. So, in the end, feminism is actually hurting women more than men, and this is why I ultimately think feminism needs to go. It's too many women that are deceitful today. They lie, they're deceitful, they're whores. They want sexual attention well, and uh, <laughs> they're insecure. Yeah. <laughs> Why are men just wanting to stay away from women far, far away, not marry, not commit, not have children, and potentially even just pump and dump? Well, you got it right here. You continue with this feminist movement, never-ending demands on men, constant blaming, shaming, entitled attitude. You want to continue to compete with men instead of just be with men and be feminine, be beautiful, be a woman. If you want to do that, kiss your prospects for a marriage and a committed man. Goodbye. Big man. All right, go ahead, babe. All right. No, I was going to say, and you were saying something earlier when you were talking about, like, back in the day, as far as, like, why, why marriage was instituted if we're, if you don't believe in the biblical aspect of it that it was a way for for like if you're a dad mm -hmm. and you have your daughter mm -hmm. you know like you you're not going to just allow some guy to come and take mm -hmm. your daughter and be sleeping with her right. without any type of commitment right so marriage was put into place so that it's like an insurance policy like okay well you want to sleep with my daughter or what mm -hmm. have you it's a hu huge possibility that you're going to produce, you know, mm -hmm. my grandchildren, offspring. Right. So this is an insurance policy that you're going to take care and provide for her and that child. Right. You know, that's put into place. And I think the guy said it in the video as well, too. It's just like, that's better. Even with the people who are saying like, oh, well, you know, you can still get a divorce. Okay, that's true. Things happen. You could still get a divorce, but you would be in a better situation if you were married and got a divorce as opposed to you just being a baby mama. Bruh. 
you have some type of, you know, something, right. something. So think about that, you know, ladies, like, there's so much to talk about yeah, <laughs> in this. That's the problem. Yeah, there, there's a lot because I, I, I personally believe that one of the one of the, the biggest reasons why things are the way that they are is because people have lost their moral compass because they have stopped reading the Bible and they stopped going to church. Yes, I know there's a lot of different people that feel differently as far as church <laughs> and everything like that goes, but <laughs> case in point, but you can't deny that having some type of um, some type of spiritual foundation, some type of belief system, something to have a moral barometer to gauge how you live your life. That makes a huge difference as opposed to just going, oh, YOLO, you only live once. So you do whatever makes you feel good. Like, I came in front that this this you only live once thing is not really working out for us on that side yeah I, I, it's just I, like i mean i understand the concept you know what people have bucket list items and everything you only live once yeah you know but not when it comes to like morally sound things where you can like jack up your life <laughs> you know Point. that's that's not the type of thing that you want to go oh well yolo you only live once right. no right uh-uh yeah, you only live once and you about to screw up this one opportunity that you have mm. because you're living recklessly. Everything, everything that matters has some type of order. Even nature has order. You can't decide to just, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm not a gardener, but like if I wanted to grow cabbage or, or, or collard greens, or, I don't know, or flowers or something like that, I'm pretty sure I can't just go and and throw seed any old time of year. There's a specific time of year where you have to plant specific type of um, seed if you want things to grow because it needs certain elements in order for it to be able to, you know, to grow and, and produce. Same thing in life. Like you can't just not have any type of moral compass and expect for your life like to turn out a, turn out good turn out a certain way um and like jay said we're talking to people who are actually looking to be married who are looking to be in, in a healthy long-term committed marriage if this is not something that you're looking to do then you want to hit stop and go to a different channel uh, <laughs> because that's not what we're about <laughs> there's a whole bunch of that all over social media so you can go find that if that's what you're looking for mm -hmm. but if you're looking for ways to help you stay in a healthy relationship that ultimately leads for marriage then you might want to consider these things just food for thought i'm gonna stop right there because like i said it's it's a whole bunch of other things that i'm pretty sure that we didn't even get to but comment down below and let us know if you guys have any points you know anything that you want to add to this conversation what do you think are we just i don't know are we out of touch out of touch or what have you just old-fashioned yeah but you know hey I, I'll be old fashioned. I'm okay with that because this right here, this this right here, Bruh. this stuff that y'all got going on with this new, mm -mm, no, you can keep that. Don't want it. Yeah. Mm -mm. So I don't know y'all. <laughs> I, I I guess y'all let us know what y'all think. I'm yeah. I'm definitely happy to hear other opinions, but there's definitely something wrong with the family structure. Absolutely. Um, especially with us. Yes. There's something wrong with the family structure. Yes. It's something going on and it's not producing better results. So something has to change. And um, I just think that we made a decision to change the wrong things. Yeah. And, and it's not too late. We can put them back and then figure out what was wrong. Right. And there was plenty that was wrong. Mm -hmm. But I just think we picked the wrong stuff to be trying to fix. Indeed. Anyway. That was it. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. This is a long way to video. I don't know how many. This thing going to be 35 minutes. 40. We've been sitting here for an hour talking about this thing. <laughs> all right, y'all. Well, all we got left to say is peace. Press the off button.